Hey guys, it's me, and I could not be happier today because I'm finally opening my sleepover set. I'm so excited. But before I do that, I want to show you guys something. My dad gave this to me. I don't really know where it came from. But it is a little computer, and it's foam, so it's squishy. I can squeeze it. It's like a stress toy. Um, but it's in the shape of a computer, and it has a little keyboard. So um, this is pretty AG-sized. Um, it could probably work for the Barbies, too. Um, it's a little small for the AGs, a little bit big for the Barbies, so it's kind of in between. It could probably fit both. Um, so I don't really know who I'm giving it to yet, but I thought I'd show you guys this first. It's white. It's got a gray screen. This is Comparex on it. I mean, that's pretty much it. Tell me who you think I should give it to. But, this came today and I could not be happier. Oh, the thing sounds loose in here. So part of me is thinking that uh, it it's like very light too. I don't know that I got an actual like sleepover set box in here, which I don't know how upset I would be over that. Um, but, uh, I was kind of hoping it would be in the box, considering I paid an arm and a leg for it. Um, let's flip my phone over so we don't get distracted, because we all know I will. Okay, this is like not, okay, there we go. Uh-oh. Do you have a box? We have an actual box in here. Okay, I have to be careful because my uh, address is on this end. Ah! Oh my goodness! Oh, it's taped on the edge here. Okay, hold it. Hold the phone. Uh, it's taped on the edges. I have to cut that. Oh, by the way, guys, my house cleaner is here, so... I may have to pause it in the middle and come back. Oh my goodness! So that's my receipt. Nobody wants to see that. This is what we do want to see. Oh my god, it's so little for what it is. How much I paid for it. It's here. It's actually here. I could cry. I could really bawl my eyes out and cry. Oh my god. My life is made. It's here. I'm so happy. So this is the sleepover set from Costco brand, new in box. It's a sleepover set from dolls. I got mine from eBay because, as we all know, the Costco thing didn't work out at all. So I gave up. I admitted defeat, and I sucked it up, and I bought it off eBay, even though I paid a ton of money for it. It's actually, like, not that thick of a box at all, but I'm kind of glad that I have the box now. So here's what it looks like on the side here it says dreamers and doodlers skull kickers and piano players crafters and campers brilliant creative and strong we represent all girls everywhere we want girls to have the tools freedom and encouragement to explore and express who they truly are because every girl is powerful but when we join forces we are a Force to be reckoned with. That's awesome. And then on this side, it tells you what we have inside it. It's 11 pieces, which is it's beyond expensive. I mean, beyond little for what I paid for it. But, oh well. So we have pajama top and shorts, slippers, sleeping bag, pillow, popcorn bowl, two faux drinks, mini American Girl magazine, mini Slumber Wonders book, and mini Apples to Apples game. So, I'm very excited. There's a little picture of it right there. You want to hear the back? It's a bigger list of things that comes with it and pictures and all that stuff. And then the top. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> the top and the bottom. I could not be happier that I have this in my possession now because it feels like I've been waiting forever. And in a way, I kind of have. So, let's open it. I'm so excited. It doesn't look like we have any tape to deal with, which is good. Oh my goodness, I could not be happy you're right now! Ah! Is this gonna just pull out? 
<laughs> my arm is shaking. I'm having a really hard time pulling it out, but I think that's what's happening. I don't want to break it. I paid a lot of money for this. I don't want to break it. <laughs> Why I paid a lot of money for it? I mean, I paid a lot of money for it. Ow! All right. <laughs> Every time I film an opening video, I hurt myself. But there's a thing on my chin. God, that hurt. I thought I cut my chin with my nail. Like, that's how badly I hurt myself there. Oh, there we go. That, that was much easier. And just screw that. Jeez. Ta da! Alright. Oh, I cannot be happier right now. Okay. Well, actually, I could be, but. I'm pretty happy. So I can lift the top up. Ah, oh my goodness. Okay, so we are going to take this out of the box. And we are going to go from there. Oh my god, these are so cute. It, like it's kind of a surreal moment here so I never really thought that I would get it ah! all right the popcorn flew it's also not really an opening video but stuff doesn't go flying either popcorn. <laughs> okay good it didn't damage it at all <laughs> This is expensive popcorn. Okay, so we're going to review everything now. It's gonna be awesome. So this is everything in the set, all in a pile, and we are gonna look at it in great depth. So I'm gonna move this over here, and this here, and this here. Just everything out of my way here. All right. So soft. Okay. All right. So we're going to do the part that I wanted the set for, which is the pajamas. So first piece is the top, and oh my god, it's so cute. It's a sky blue. It's like a baby blue, and it has a picture of a gray fox on it, and the whiskers are all pretty and script-like. And you can see my eye. Hi. <laughs> and there's a little pink heart. And it says American Girl in pink script. And it has ruffles and it's three quarter length woo, sleeves. And it's so cute. The design of this is very identical to uh, the lovely leopard BJs from the Truly Me line. And you can open this up. And the Velcro goes all the way down the back. There is little blue tool on the bottom as well. Just like... Um, the Lovely Leopard PJs, which I will probably be pulling in here for some sort of comparison, top-wise. And then the shorts. Oh my god, they're so cute! So, <laughs> the shorts have an elastic waist, and they are dark blue, and there is a really cute, really pretty light blue bow on the front, and... There's pictures of little trees and hearts and snowflakes and foxes to tie with the top and it's the same on the back. It's so cute. They're little short shorts. Oh my god, I love these. I don't know who they're going to yet, but someone's going to have some really, really epic PJs. And then here are the slippers, which are, again, very identical to the um, fox. I mean, this is the foxy PJ set. We're calling them the foxy PJs. Yay! <laughs> no, uh, but this, these are identical to the Lovely Liver PJs, except in blue, and they're fuzzy, and they have little canvas bottoms. Um, and there's a little white felt heart on the front, and there is elastic to keep it on doll's foot, and this one has a giant tag, which I will be cutting, because no one wants those on their slippers. You just don't. There is no... Oh, thank you. Okay, 
the next thing in the set is popcorn. And this is very identical to uh, the 2011 sleepover set with the apples to apples and the popcorn and the two drinks. They're like exactly the same. The only difference is this popcorn bowl is light pink and I kind of like the light pink popcorn bowl so I'm going to keep it. Of course, Ashley does this even though I really don't need it. Hashtag dip for Ashley. But um, the popcorn has detailing and it looks very realistic. It's very very delicious looking actually. I kind of want some now. And it's just a plain pink bowl. It's very nice. I'll bring my other bowl in too so you guys can see. And then we also have drinks which are actually different in color to mine which are very interesting. I'll again bring mine in along with my apples to apples but we haven't looked at the apples to apples yet. Whoa. So the drinks are in little clear glasses and they look like pink lemonade and there are little ice cubes on the top and there are green straws that go all the way through to the bottom which are awesome and the glasses are actually ribbed so they actually do have a texture to them and they're really nice glasses I mean I really like them. Um, yeah actually it looks like there's bubbles on the bottom. I didn't notice that. That's really cool. I wonder if mine has that. I don't think they do. I don't think it does. That's very interesting. So you get two of those, and then you get a American Girl Holiday Special Edition magazine. Whoops, of course I drop it. It's just paper. Mine's a little, wow, bent <laughs> from being in the packaging, but that's okay. It's not very badly damaged, so I'm not that upset. And on the back, it says, Together We Make the Holidays, which I think was last year's slogan. I don't know. This is made in China and all kinds of languages there. Discover more about every experience and event, please, plus see our locations nationwide and AmericanGirl.com slash yours. So do that. Um, and you have actual magazine pictures on the inside that's Christmas lit, Christmas and winter themed, so you can actually do stuff with it. And you can actually read it, too. So that's cool. There's only a few pages in here, but it's really nice. And it's stitched. It's not stapled, it's stitched. And then we have the Slumber Wonders Slumber Party book. And the uh, American Girl Sleepover set also came with one of these, but it was not the Slumber Wonders book. It was the Snoozapalooza, I think, book. I have to find it. I know I have mine still. Um, but it's the Slumber Wonders book, and it says, Make all your slumber party dreams come true. And on the back, it has some pictures. Mine's a little crinkled from packaging. Again, it's not that bad, so I'm not that upset about it. And it has actual pages and pictures and stuff on the inside for you and your doll and your doll and your friends, and her friends to look at, or his friends, depending on who it is. I mean, it could be a boy. I don't know. But yeah, very cute. And then we have the Apples to Apples Junior game, um, which is very different from my Apples to Apples, which I'm not keeping this. This is going to be going for sale. Um... The game of crazy combinations, and it says, You be the judge with the judge apple with the little hammer, and I forget the name of, and I really should know, and I feel like I know it, but I don't. Um, Grovel! Yep, my memory still works. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. That really, really was interesting. Um, but yeah, so he has Grovel. On the back, we have some pictures of apples to apples and it tells you about the game which is really awesome it says it's nine plus and there's four to eight players there's a little barcode on the back that's really cute looks like you can actually buy it at a toy store and then when you open it up there is instructions that just fell out of the top it's an instruction pamphlet it tells you how to play the game and then you have your cards which I'm not opening I will leave them packaged and they're very similar to the actual game that I have that I've had for a long time. You can actually play the game with your dolls if you want to with this little set. It's very cute. I really like it. And I put this on upside down. That's a problem. I want this to be nice. There we go. Shut up. And then we have a very, very fluffy white pillow that is going to be going on Mia's bed. So it... It's white and it's fluffy and it's actually very squishy. Very nice. There's some tags here. Mia got a new pillow today, which is nice. And the last 
item in the set is the sleeping bag, which I'm also keeping because I don't have an AG sleeping bag. And I think it's ridiculous that I don't have an AG sleeping bag. So, ta-da, here it is. And it is the same fluffy white as the pillow. The pillow goes with the sleeping bag, but, you know, whatever. And it has a blue American Girl tag on the front. And it is just so super cute, you guys. It's so soft. Like, I would totally sleep in this sleeping bag. It's so awesome. On the inside is blue windbreaker material. And it's the same baby blue as the rest of the set is. So it's really nice. And it also appears that the sleeping bag is reversible. So if you want the blue part on the outside and the fur on the inside for them to sleep on, then you could do it that way too. Although the tags will be sticking out. You can just tuck them under there like that. So you can still reverse it. It looks like it's reversible. I don't know if it was made to be reversible, but I saw someone point out on Instagram, hey, it looks like you can flip it the other way. And I was like, oh yeah, I think it might be reversible. I don't know that it's supposed to be made that way, but that's okay. It's so soft. So that is the wonderful sleepover set that I paid a ton of money for. And, um, you know, I don't regret it. <laughs> I'm very, very happy after months and months of hard searching to finally have been able to get one. Um, ignoring the very blatant fact that I had to order mine from eBay, um, which was kind of sad, you know, that I had to resort to that and not find it in store. But... Um, I finally have one and that makes me really happy. So, um, I am going to try the pajamas on a doll and I will bring in the Love the Leopard pajamas and the pieces that I have the matching ones to from the old sleepover set and we will be right back. Hey guys, so, uh, I just brought the pajamas in and I just like set them down like next to each other and I like wanted to give my immediate reaction before I even put them on the girls because they're literally very very similar especially the tops and I just have to like show my immediate reactions with you guys because that's just how I am with you guys so we're gonna do this <laughs> um so here are the two pairs of pajamas I'll move them forward so you can see better and such face forward they are literally the same in context um there we go like they're very similar it's kind of freaky like it's clear that they used the same idea um for both so the lovely leopard pjs here is the one i'll give you the one with the tag without the tag because i haven't cut the tag off this one either um, it's literally the exact same except pink and there's a little gray heart and then, jeez, I'm dropping everything today. I'm so sorry. And then the Fox PJs are the exact same except they have a, they're blue when they have a white heart. So the slippers are clearly identical except different colors. And then the pants are probably the most different. The Lovely Leopard PJs have the leopard print bottoms that are gray with the pink dots. And they are furry. But a very weird texture of fur, I will say. And these are cotton with a bow. These don't have a bow on them. Actually, I think these are backwards. Yes, they are. I was right. There we go. <laughs> I was showing you the backside. There we go. Okay. So... You guys kind of see the difference here. This one has like a fox print and then it's like cotton with a bow. And then this one's just all fur with no bow. And just a leopard print. But they're both short shorts. And then the tops are kind of insane. The fox pajamas are like this. And the pink pajamas, the lovely leopard ones, are like, is like that. Which, it's the exact freaking same down to the lighter colored tool on the bottom. The lovely leopard has light pink and then this one has a light blue. Like, they're the exact same, <laughs> except different colors. So, and different like patterns on them. So, you guys kind of see my issue with that. But I kind of don't mind because these are adorable. I love them to death. And you can kind of have like twin dolls wearing these too. 
because they're 20 but they're not exactly 20 they're like distinct enough to be separate which is cool I think Minnie Ashley might get these I don't know <laughs> we'll see but yeah I had to show you guys these similarities beforehand before I even put them on the dolls and I also brought everything else in so I might as well do that while I'm still going here so I was right the book with the other sleepover set is Snooza Palooza. Um, so they are different. But I know that the Slumber Wonders book came with the Pizza Party set that is more recent. I think it's from like 2014 to like this year. Like they just retired it, I think, I from what I heard. So um, they're like the same size and they're both paperback. So, you know same thing and then to reach over here here is the original pink popcorn bowl that I have it's a very dark pink it's actually more like a fuchsia and then you have the light pink so you can kind of see the difference in that and like I said I like the light pink better so I'm gonna be keeping that and I'm gonna have two I mean there's nothing wrong with it I have like 36 dolls or something like that they can have two bowls of popcorn. They're going to need like 10 bowls of these popcorn to even remotely cover all of them. <laughs> Especially counting the boys like hi. And then we have the drinks. So these are the two original drinks that I got in my original sleepover set in 2011. They have the same, they have the same straws, same ice cubes, same cups. Um, here let's look on the bottom. Oh there's no bubbles on the bottom. They are just numbers and letters and stuff, and the drink is darker. Now I'm going to take one of these and compare it with one of the new ones. You can clearly see that mine is darker than the new one. The new one also has bu yeah, bubbles on the bottom, when the old one does not. Um, it's clear that they're different. So this is definitely like a brighter color. So this could be fruit punch and this could be like pink lemonade but they're like otherwise the exact same. The greens on the straws are the exact same although actually the new one straws are slightly thicker which is interesting. You can kind of see it. It's very interesting to see the little subtle differences but the fact that they're very very similar at the same time. I think I like the older ones better, which is good because I'm going to get rid of these. And then the Coupe de Gracie. I need to reach over and get mine. Okay, so here is my old game of apples to apples. And this is the the one that came from the sleepover set from like 2011. Um, so it is still apples to apples, Jr. I have mine on the wrong way so this is what the back looks like and it tells you kind of how to play the game here and then on the inside it comes with the same instruction booklet it probably is just printed differently and you have I really have to hold these in place because they'll fall the two red stacks and the green stack of cards and I will show you what the backs look like since these are actually separate. Here's what the cards basically look like. This is a red card. Like you can literally play them with your dolls. And if you're an Apples to Apples fan, it's really, really cool. Like I love playing Apples to Apples. So here's what the green card looks like. And they are perfect doll size. You can literally play with the dolls and have them play Apples to Apples. It's very interesting. Part of me now wants to make a full length apples to apples game video and have them play apples to apples and see who wins. Which would be really awesome. So, we will see. Ta da! And then here is the one that came in the sleepover set that I just got today. So you can see the differences. And then hold up. I like my version better, which is good, because I'm getting rid of this anyway. 
so yes, it's very interesting to see all the similarities and all the differences in the similar items that they sold with the sets. Um, but now we're going to go and dress the girls. Hey guys, I'm back with Sierra Rain! Yay! <laughs> It's really weird because looking at her and then like having her right next to me, she actually kind of looks a bit like me, which is really weird. But anyway, Sierra Rain is wearing the new pajamas and they look so cute. It's so cozy. I don't know that I'd want to wear shorts in the winter, but I don't know. She lives in Los Angeles, so she could probably get away with it. So here are the slippers. Which the thing got tangled to in the back here, and I don't like it. So here's the slippers, and the uh, oh my, I am like all over the place today. There we go. So they have little hearts on them, and they have little flip flops. I don't know that those are good for winter either. I'd probably wear an Uggs, like seriously. And then here are the shorts. The thing is, though, that this ruffle kind of blocks the bow, which I don't like very much, but um. You know, that's okay. And then the shirt looks so super cute. I love these jammies. <laughs> and I just love the way they look on. Oh, they're really nice. The back of them. Remove size hair. Here's the back of the slippies. I absolutely recommend this set, you guys. It's really, really nice. It's very cute. And, uh, Sarah Rain likes it, and her hair is blowing all over Tarnation here. It's all over the place. I have to fix that. But, Sierra Rain likes it, and I like it, and it looks really, really cute on. And I'm going to pull in my guest star here, Miss. Samantha, because Samantha is wearing the pink ones. So you guys can kind of see that they're kind of identical here. So here are the two sets of slippers. Like they're exactly the same, except for the fact that Samantha's is like falling apart here. Okay, like. Seriously, AG, like you did not think that this would not go unnoticed by us? <laughs> Come on! You're the exact same! Hey, come on! <laughs> Hold up. Remove Sarah Rain. There we go. Okay. Ow! Sarah Rain just pulled my hair. That hurt. Alright, thank you, Sarah Rain, for hurting me. That was much appreciated. And then we have. Their shirts remove Sarah's hair. They're like the exact same style. This one looks a little fluffier because mine is weird with the with the positioning. But it's literally the exact same. Good job, AJ. <laughs> I look a bit like Sam too. Oh, I'm looking at Sarah Ring while I said that. I look at it. Too. I look similar to Sam too. It's kind of crazy. But yeah, that, I was about to move Sierra Rain. Like, my coordination is so bad. Okay, sit over there. That was the sleepover set from Costco. From four American Girl dolls. And I finally have it. And I could not be happier. It looks so good. And it is so good. And I love it so much. <laughs> It didn't come with any hair accessories, so you kind of have to just pull from your own stuff, from your own collection, and give them any hair accessories for their little slumber party. If you want to give them a ponytail or a bun or something. I thought about just for this video doing a little braid like, like mine on Sierra, but I was like, I'm going to have to put the headband back anyway, so not worth it, but yeah, so... I love it. It looks so good. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!